Two years ago I bit the bullet and treated myself to an Apple Watch Series 7 and it has completely changed my life. What do I use it for? Will I upgrade it? Should you get an Apple Watch? And the most important question of all, was it worth it? Did the Apple Watch bring $429 worth of value to my life? Disclaimer. You do need an iPhone in order to get the Apple Watch. So sorry Android users with that being said. Let's talk about the main reason why people would consider the Apple Watch productivity and connectivity when calls and messages come in. It is pretty simple to just flip my wrist up and check the notification. It takes one second, so as opposed to pulling my phone out, which takes about five to ten seconds, I can save myself those seconds by just flipping my wrist. If it's something non-urgent, I can easily just flip my wrist back over and continue what I was doing. If it is something urgent, I can either respond directly on my wrist or I can pull my phone out and take that 5 or 10 seconds to respond there. Furthermore, if my phone is on silent, most of the time, I will get that notification, but the odd time I don't and so having my wrist vibrate with the watch. It's such a more sensitive area, so now I'm for sure getting 100% of those notifications on the Mac. You either use a fingerprint scanner or you type in your password to log in or to autofill passwords, but when you're wearing your watch and using your MacBook, the MacBook can sense that you are wearing your watch and will auto log you in and autofill your passwords without you even having to use the fingerprint scanner, so another one of these things where you're saving a few seconds. Now let's start entertainment and lifestyle. If you play sports, workout, or are active in any type of way, this watch is an amazing complement to your lifestyle. It's definitely the area where I personally get the most benefit out of it. I use health and fitness apps to keep track of my fitness workouts, whether it's number of steps that I took throughout the day or the workout that I did that day, how many calories I burned. Other watches also do this, but from what I understand, the Apple Watch is one of the best at it. It is natively integrated with Apple Health, so I can easily check it on my phone or check it on my MacBook without having to use any external apps. The built-in heart rate monitor is great for cardio and seeing how my body progresses when training cardio over time. The blood oxygen sensor is apparently not perfect, but it's accurate enough to provide context the fact that Apple can even measure. This somewhat accurately is pretty impressive. The Apple Watch is waterproof up to 50 meters useful for swimming in pools, lakes, or the ocean, which I've done multiple times. There's an eject button as well that ejects the water after you're done swimming. The Apple Watch is lighter than all of the watches in my collection, so that is nice for running around doing workouts. It's nice to not have this heavy thing on my wrist. There are countless watch brands on this earth making beautiful watches, but with the Apple Watch you can choose from a plethora of watch faces that come stock with the watch. You also have the freedom of downloading an almost never-ending catalog of custom watch faces that not only tell the time, but include things like your daily activity data, your weather, the real-time heart rate in your body, and more. You can even have dynamic watch faces, or you can change the watch to a custom picture. The freedom and flexibility of all the watch faces that you can have are great for people who like to change it up. There were two watch face sizes when I was buying the 41mm and the 45mm usually. It will be women getting the smaller face and men getting the larger face. This isn't always the case, so if you're a man and you want the smaller face or a woman and want the bigger watch, that's fine too. I mean probably most people are not even going to know the difference. I opted for the 45mm case because of the shape of my wrist. I think it's a little bit thicker, it just seems to fit better, plus I get extra real estate when using the watch with my finger and my hands are not the most thin so that extra space helps me a lot with the accuracy of just pressing the right button in general. When it comes to wellness and mindfulness, I have mixed opinions on this. The Apple Watch's mindfulness app provides on-the-go tranquility with brief meditations and guided breathing exercises through subtle prompts. It encourages users to pause find calmness amidst daily activities. 
Sleep tracking is for sure the most useful feature in this category. A lot of people say that they sleep with their watch on, they get insights into what type of sleep they had, whether it was light sleep, deep sleep, REM sleep, etc. They also see how many hours they slept, how long it took them to fall asleep. It bothers me to wear a watch on my wrist when I'm sleeping so I don't use it for this, but I have a few times and it did track my sleep pretty well. There are wellness apps that either come standard on the watch or that you can add later on to like water reminders, stand-up reminders. I think the stand-up one is actually very useful because studies actually show that those who sat more than 8 hours a day with no physical activity had risk of dying similar to that PO of obesity and smoking. I sit at my desk almost all day and I think a lot of people do nowadays so getting that reminder from your phone that says just a quick reminder to stand up helps to contribute to my overall health. I really appreciate and I feel like that's one of the life changers for this watch in my life An area that I benefit from this a lot is entertainment and lifestyle. When listening to music, especially whichever app you use for music, Spotify or Apple Music, most likely it's pretty easy just to have your play pause skip cast to a device, even airplay it onto another device, it's very nice. Again for being able to control things from your wrist, as opposed to having to pull your phone out or when I'm at the gym. I set my phone down somewhere and I go do all my workout stuff because I'm in a smaller gym. I feel like I can just leave my phone way over there and nobody is going to take it. Now I don't need to walk all the way across the gym in order to change the track on my AirPods. There are tons of use cases for third-party apps on this watch that I'm sure you will enjoy. Was it worth it for the first six months? I did not think that it was worth owning this Apple Watch. I did not think that it would bring $429 of value to my life. One time I forgot my watch when I was packing for a trip and that week without my Apple Watch made me realize how much I actually do value having all of the conveniences that come with this watch. So guys, this was my honest review on the Apple Watch. What you think about this, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. I have just started my tech journey. We're almost at 1. 18 K subs. So if you enjoy tech videos, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.